Something that a lot of you might not know is how big Galvin really is. We have 11 different car brands under our roof. We have a rentals department, we have a restaurant, we have a Starbucks, we have a whole bunch of goodies. But one particular thing that I want to talk about is our rentals department. So the guys from Salamandran and us were getting together, we're testing all these cars and a lot of the comments were people wanted to be able to drive the same cars that we, we drove. They want to be able to see the performance, they want to be able to see what all the hype is about. So we got together and put our minds together and came up with this idea. What if we get these cars, we galpinize them. When I say galpinize, it means that we're gonna get the cars and put Galpin Autosports touch to them. So we're either gonna fix them up, modify them, uh, tweak them up from what the stock form would be, and we're gonna put them in the rental car fleet, allowing you guys to come out and test drive them, get them for a day, get them for a week, and if you like it, you end up buying the car. If not, you just wanna test it out, this is your chance to come and test out the vehicle and not have to go through you know, the actual hoops and hassles of having to buy the car. So these are the two vehicles behind me that we've chosen. We have the Kia Stinger on one end, we have the VW Golf on the other end. I think they're gonna be pretty cool builds once they're done with, and the best part is you guys get to come and drive them and let us know what you guys think of them. So we have all the guys behind me that are working on the Jeep project. We have to get it ready by tomorrow, so it's all hands on deck to get it done. So the Jeep is almost 98% done, a few small touches left. After it's done here, we're gonna get it over to alignment, we're gonna tint it, and then we have to road test it. And again, road testing it, we don't use it as an excuse to joyride our customers' cars. We actually take it out onto the road and make sure the vehicle's functioning properly and it's ready to be delivered to the customer. So we had a customer just drop off his Hellcat. This thing only has 497 miles on it and we're installing a Borla exhaust. Stay tuned and hear how it sounds. is where the stock factory valve will fit in. And then the valve will operate this valve in there. We're gonna be taking that part right there and then installing it in there. These active valves will open up that actual flap inside to give you more sound or less sound depending on you know, your either driving style or uh, if you're getting on the throttle 100% or not. getting tinted back here. One of the last steps. Hey Robbie, what's going on? What are you doing on the Jeep? Um, window tint, the back windows. Nice. And um, uh, UV clear on the front. Nice. Guys are working on the VW Golf Harlequin. David, what are you doing? Taking the door handles off. We're at. David's removing the door panel. So the customer with the Jeep is here, and we're gonna unveil the truck. Let's go back there and let's see his reaction when he sees it. No way! Wow. That looks so much better than I could imagine. So we started with the wrap you want, that military green. 
Then uh, Icon suspension, the three inch lip all around, 35 inch Toyos, and the XD whole shop wheels. Check out your taillights. Those are the JW speaker taillights. Those are so cool. <laughs> this is that Poison Spider rear bumper with the tire carrier. There's the back of the camera right in there. Well, that's nice. Yeah. I, I've seen some, they were really big. Yeah, we tried to hide it as best yeah. we could. And then power steps with the illuminated. Wow. And then this wrap is your jams too. So when you open the door, you don't see the original. Color. So good. Can we turn it on? Yeah. guys another happy customer another build done on to the next one so this is a 2014 Ford Raptor that we're building for a very good customer he has incrementally kind of built up the car as it's gone first we did a couple bumpers uh, and we did a little bit of uh, light suspension work then he came back for full-on suspension work and now we're pretty much gutted the whole interior put a roll cage on welded everything up we're gonna be putting four race seats in here and then we're also in integrating comms, so he's gonna have full communication with the four passengers in the vehicle, and he's gonna be ready to go all out in the desert. One of our employees here at Gas, David, has a Mustang GT that he purchased from us a couple months ago. So far he's done uh, Roush coilovers, he's done uh, Bassani exhaust, he's done a couple different touches, but he wanted to get wheels. And he just wanted to, didn't want to get any regular set of wheels, he wanted to get something custom, something unique, something that's just going to fit his ride just right and look beautiful. So we reached out to our guys over at 1221 on Wheels and uh, we had a custom set made. It's here today. So let's check it out. We're super excited to see what it looks like. Let's see them. Delivery. Look at him, it's like Christmas. So I have Casey here from 1221 Wheels and he's going to explain to me a little bit about the wheels, how they were made and what model they are. Start basic with the style. This is our 0330 style, which is split 7 spoke. It's a very nice classic style, good look, goes well with the Mustang we believe. Definitely a good pick by you and David. Next is the three piece style, so it's a, called a three piece AP3C configuration. That means that it's a modular wheel and we can basically go through and size it exactly like we want for this car. It gives us a lot of other benefits though with how we can play around with the finishing. So you can see on this, we have four different finishing surfaces. We've got our inner barrel, our outer barrel, we have our center, and we have our hardware. So we did solid gloss black up in to contrast the solid matte black face. And then we've got a gloss gun metal hardware along with the gloss gun metal brush to it. So it's all the modularity you want to get the size and everything, but it gives you the best possible outlook for finish to match the car that you're doing. You can see here, this is our Apex series. It comes with a lot of cool things that are unique to 1221. Most notably is the undercut hub that we use. A lot of hubs that you see on normal wheels will basically just dive into the center. And what we've done is we've gotten rid of that and we've literally cleared out all of the material that goes in here, wow. which is a huge weight savings, even on a three-piece wheel like this that, technically speaking, isn't need to be the most weight-conscious wheel. We've got our scalloped cap. This fits in exactly, lines up with the serial number that's individually serialized with every order. Cap can only go in one way so that it's upright, correct the entire time. Everything that we do is either FEA tested or and or physically tested, so uh, we have a lab that we go through and do actual strength test comparisons along with in-house FDA simulation on everything that we offer. So it's fully strength tested, and this wheel is built specifically for his Mustang, more so than any other random Mustang or standard Mustang. This is a special set just for this car. I've never seen someone so excited. Yeah. So there you have it. 
we just did a set of one, two, two, one wheels on David's uh, Mustang. I think it looks phenomenal. And if any one of you guys want to step up your game and get a custom set of wheels, let us know. So the guys are wrapping the Harlequin GTI behind me. We already have all the colors laid out, what panel's gonna go where, and then it's just down to doing it. Daniel's already done the roof. The roof's gonna go blue, quarter panels are gonna be blue. the exhaust from thermal here for the Kia Stinger. We've laid it all out so you guys can see what it looks like and it's about to go in the car. Couple key points. Uh, the exhaust are gonna keep the stock OEM tips because the OEM tips are a part of the rear uh, diffuser. So we're gonna leave those alone but everything else is gonna get replaced. So the mufflers will be in here all the way down to the cats. What you see here is the cats. That's what the inside of a catalytic converter looks like. It's like honeycombing. It's used to actually get all the unburned gases that came out of the vehicle and up to a standard where it could be actually exhausted into the atmosphere. So we have the Stinger done behind me. We have the wheels on it, the exhaust is on it, and it's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead to the back to check out the Harlequin. They're wrapping it right now. After they're done wrapping, we're gonna do wheels and tires and lower it. clear up some confusion. We had a lot of people on social media asking us why are we doing the Harlequin, what, like what's the background behind it. So here I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown and give you the history of it. So Volkswagen with the Beetle back in the 50s, they made an ad and the ad had a Beetle with all different color body panels and the, the verbiage read the doors are from a 56, the, the hood and trunk are from a 57 and so on and so forth. And the, the car was completely mismatched in color. And the whole point of the advertisement was to show that these vehicles, for better or for worse, haven't changed uh, and they're all interchangeable and, and, and you could swap parts from one to the other. Even when you look at the Beatles now, you can kind of see that through the years and through the timeline, it hasn't really changed much. You can kind of see where it was and where it came from. They played off that and they wanted to do a uh, newer version of it. So the execs at VW first had the idea for the European market. For the European market, they have a, a VW Polo there. Uh, similar to what we have as far as the Golf, but a little bit different, smaller. They made about 3,800 examples of those. And for the US market in 1996, they wanted to do the same thing. So for the US market, they got the Golf GL, which is a four-door variant, very similar to what we did ours on. And whether it was the European model or the US model, how they would do it is they would build them in the four base colors already. So they would build them that way and they would get fully done, and walk, like drive off the assembly line, fully built in that solid color. Once they're off the assembly line, they would take these cars and then tear them apart again and the fenders and the tailgate would go to one car, the doors would go to the other. The way you can tell the primary color is off the fixed pieces. So the A-pillar, quarter panel, and the uh, rockers, those are the only way you can tell the original color of the car. So that was where uh, the whole idea came from. What we wanted to do is we wanted to pay homage to that. So we got a new uh, Golf GTI and we decided to wrap it. We didn't want to paint it. So in, in case if we want to reverse it, so we wrapped it in the correct colors. We were able to find three of the colors, the yellow, the red, and the blue, a very close match was already existing in, a, in, a, in our vinyl. Uh, catalog. 3M was the one we went with. The only one we couldn't find was the turquoise. So the turquoise we ended up printing using our printing machine in the back. We we're using that to print any kind of commercial wraps or anything. It's really versatile so we ended up using it for this task. So we have one of the last things being done to the Harlequin which is the wheels. They just got in. We're having the tires thrown on. Suspension's been done. Obviously the wrap has been done. You can see it's coming out to be pretty cool. So check it out. Let me know what you guys think. truly appreciate it. If you guys liked the video, click the like button. If you guys have any comments, please comment below. 
And as always, to keep up with all of our latest content, hit the subscribe button. And for Galpin Autosports, this is Tommy, and if you could dream it, we could build it.